Now we're gonna remove the factory hatch lights. You're gonna need a flat head screwdriver. Starting on the right hand side, insert, pry down. You'll see the locking tab here. And then unplug. Going over to the other side, same right side, pull it down and unplug. We're gonna take these over to the bench and swap them over to the ultimate hatch lights. Now that we have the factory hatch lights removed, we're gonna work on taking the factory lens, the factory bulb out, and swapping it over to the new one. You're gonna need a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver. Starting with the flathead, we need to release all four tabs around the perimeter. Remove the lens. Now we have to take out the original bulb. Just release the tab and it'll fall out. Last, we have to pull out the slider. The factory one's tan and the new one's black to match the new housing. Flip it over, there's a Phillips screw on the back side. Release that. Pull the factory slider out. With the new one, there's a lip on the front. The lip's gonna face inward towards the bulb. Dropping it on. Put a new screw in. Test function, make sure it slides. Take in the new housing with the bulb adapter. This can go in either way, does not matter. Lock it in. Make sure the wire tucks in there and doesn't protrude or get caught up on the slider. Line it all up, lock the top two and the bottom two. Double check the function. Repeat the process with the other light and then we're ready to reinstall it in the vehicle. Now that it's been swapped over, we're gonna reinstall it in the vehicle, taking the factory harness, plugging it back in, check function. Door will activate when the hatch is open. On is on all the time. Switch back mode. Reinsert the left side first, followed by the right. You hear it snap into place. Go over to the driver's side. Reinstalling the connector. Testing function. Insert the left hand side first. Lock into place, you're ready to go.